The end of the Nick Saban era at Alabama is here. Didn't think we'd be here, meaning like in this studio shooting an emergency video, but with the retirement of Nick Saban, we got to talk about this from a recruiting perspective. And moments ago, literally, as I sat in this chair, we just got big news of a Ryan Williams decommitment. I'm going to talk about that later. Bama fans, lock in. We're going to get started. But first, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. There's going to be a lot to talk about, not just today, but this entire offseason. Whether it's the transfer portal, recruiting, we're going to have you guys covered. When it comes to Alabama, hit subscribe for me. All right. Nick Saban, head football coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. He's retired after 17 seasons. Chris Lowe of ESPN reported it this evening. Saban already informed the team. So it's 72 years old. Saban racked up a 297 wins, 71 losses, and one tie as a college head coach. He won seven national championships, six of them at Alabama, 11 conference championships, an incredible run all the way to the end. I mean, you got to think. Saban made it to six of the last eight college football playoff national championship games. Just an incredible run. And from a recruiting perspective, Saban has utterly dominated college football recruiting during his time at Bama. In 08, Alabama landed their first number one class. They backed it up in 09 on the field with their first national championship. 09, they had a number one class. 2011, number one class. 2012, number one class. 13-1, 14-1, 15-1, 17-1, 19-1, 21-1, 23-1. 14 out of 17 years under Nick Saban, Alabama finished with either the number one or number two class in America. And most of the time, it was the number one class in America. So with Nick Saban out, does this level the playing field? At least with recruiting, does this level the playing field? Because for so many years, Saban has spoiled. He's gone into states like Louisiana, spoiled LSU's class by taking their top player in the state. He's gone into Georgia and landed a Bulldog legacy prospect. He's gone into the state of Florida and pulled out an Eddie Jackson or a Jerry Judy or a Calvin Ridley or a Derrick Henry. I mean, this is the coach that can go into the state of Iowa the night before National Signing Day and flip the number one player in the state away from Iowa, Caden Proctor. Can Alabama still go into the state of Georgia? Remember just last year when UGA won back-to-back -back national championships. They go into the state and pull the number one player in Caleb Downs. Saban did that. What do you guys think? I mean, the brand is strong. Is Alabama still going to be able to recruit at the same rate that they did under Saban? I mean, don't get me wrong. This isn't the end of Alabama recruiting. We've seen coaches come and go at Alabama. We haven't seen Nick Saban, though come and go. So you guys tell me, comment section below, what do you think about Alabama recruiting mo moving forward? Does it stay strong? Does it take a step back? Do they bring somebody in that does even better than Nick Saban? I don't know. That's going to be tough to do. So back during Alabama's first run of, I'd say like maybe 09 to 2015, I used to always say Alabama doesn't recruit they draft because under Nick Saban, right? He used to take his time. He'd identify who he wanted. It didn't really matter if they were committed or not. It didn't matter if they had Bama in their top list or not. If Nick Saban wanted you, it was kind of like a draft. He was going to get you. And that was kind of how Bama did recruiting. Remember the saying, Bama gonna Bama? That was really kind of code word for Saban gets who he wants. For, remember, 14 out of 17 classes, they were either number one or number two. So who's the next head coach going to be? It's got to be a recruiter, right? Like that's the lifeblood of this program, really of any college football program. It's recruiting. That's what feeds the program. But now, you know, the portal comes into play, NIL as well. So I think all those things got to be taken into, into account when it comes to hiring a new coach. Of course, I think recruiting is important. I run a recruiting channel here. So I, I, also, I ultimately think that they need to get a great recruiter in. Now, let me know. Who do you guys think? should be the next head coach at Alabama. Let me know, comment section below. Now, in the short term, right, all eyes are on five-star Ryan Williams. He's the number 11 overall player, the number four ranked wide receiver in the country. And he, up until tonight, he was committed to Alabama, not signed. He didn't sign during the early period. He was going to sign on February 7th. So he's still committed, well, up until tonight. See, he told Hayes Fawcett of On3 just moments before I sat down in this chair, that he was decommitting from Alabama. Now, he's been heavily recruited by Auburn. 
There's a lot of peer-to-peer recruiting going on. Cam Coleman, Perry Thompson, Walker White have all been in Ryan Williams' ear. And until today, he was committed, but he, he is decommitted now. So we'll see what happens. So in January, he had three visits locked in. He had one to Alabama, one to Texas, and one to Auburn. Now Ryan Williams' recruitment is truly on. So the next step for Alabama fans is to see, does he follow through with that January official visit? If they get him back on campus, I, I got to believe he's going to give Alabama a strong look. He was committed there. He stayed patient. He committed for a reason. But with Nick Saban leaving, there's an opportunity now for Auburn to slip in there. We'll see how it plays out. Comment section below. What do you guys think? We're going to cover the. We're going to cover this in the coming days. We're going to cover it from recruiting, from transfer portal, decommitments, commitments. It's a big time. Nick Saban, six national championships later, he is ready to call it quits. One of the best coaches, one of the best recruiters we've ever seen, one of the best recruiters we may ever see. So, stay here, stay locked. We'll get you guys through it. A lot to cover in the next couple weeks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.